happening, everybody? Matt here. We can call him a tub, and welcome to Matub's Musings. Today we're going to look at the Packers' opponent in the Colts. The Colts are coming to Green Bay, so I don't think they're going to do too well in the Frozen Tundra. We're going to take a look at the injury report. We're going to look at strengths versus weaknesses, all that kind of stuff. And first things first, looking at the Packers' injury report, we are not going to have Demarius Randall or James Starks or our starting center, J.C. Treader. And, of course, Jared Cook is still out, which... Eh, the Colts' defense is bad. In terms of DVOA, as far as I recall, I believe they were either 31st or 32nd overall defense. Uh, Ty Montgomery is going to be back in the starting lineup, so we're going to see quite a bit of him. Um, Niles Davis has been released, as everyone knows, so there's no traditional running back outside of Don Jackson, who I think is going to get a few carries. He's not, he's not a, the best <laughs> running back in the world, but at least he is a true running back who can carry the ball between the tackles. Listed as questionable right now is Randall Cobb, Demetri Goodson, Clay Matthews, and Quentin Rollins. Another week without Quentin Rollins would be pretty rough, especially if Goodson is hurt. Goodson has a concussion. Um, Goodson, not a super great option at cornerback, but at least it's a warm body to throw at the fray. Uh, surprisingly, Micah Hyde has been playing pretty well as a stand-in corner, so maybe it might not be the worst thing in the world if Goodson is out. Having Clay Matthews as questionable is pretty rough. However, the Colts have a terrible offensive line, so I really think that Peppers, even in a limited role as a pure pass rusher, or Nick Perry, are going to be able to get to luck. And as long as they can set the edge and keep it from getting outside the pocket, it really shouldn't be too hard for the Packers pass rush to really take it home. Of course, without Randall Cobb on the offense, that would hamstring us quite a bit in terms of moving the ball between the 20s, not necessarily in the red zone. Uh, Richard Rodgers has been playing terribly, and I, I do think that missing Jared Cook can affect the offense, as we've seen in the past, but I don't think that the tight ends are going to be the major factor for this game. I think it's really just going to be containing Andrew Luck, uh, stopping Frank Gore, and then the Packers' offense really should be able to score at will. I think it's going to be very similar to the game against the Bears in that the offense will be able to move the ball freely, they will score points. Overall, I think it's going to be, I'm not going to say a romp, and I'm not going to say a blowout, but I think it's going to, the score is going to be a lot closer than the game looked. I'm going to say Packers 28, Colts 17. Alright guys, that should do it for Matub's Musings, a <laughs> much better prediction than last week, in which I predicted the Packers loss by a touchdown, but we lost by one point. So, I wasn't too far off, and they did a lot better than I expected. Alright guys, and I think this is going to be a victory for us, and as always, I'm Matt, but you can call me Matub. Have a great day.